Hello. Today, I'm going to show you this differential equation, and we have an initial value as well, this thing on the right-hand side. So we're able to find a particular solution, not just the general solution. So the method we're going to use to solve this one is separating the variables. So we need to bring all of the y's to one side, all of the x's to another. So our first step, we're going to subtract our y squared cos 2x. So what we have is dy dx is equal to negative y squared cos 2x. And now we're going to bring all the y's to the left and all the x's to the right. This is kind of invalid, but it works, so we just we use it. So our next step then looks like this. We have uh, y to the minus 2 dy is equal to minus cos 2x dx. And we're going to integrate both sides. And now when we perform this integration, we have y to the minus 1 by raising the power, divided by the new power of negative 1, is equal then to minus, uh, cos is going to integrate to give sign, the 2x will stay the same, and we have a scale factor of a half out the front, which comes from the idea of like 1 over 2 from the 2x. And then we have to add a c, but in this case I'm going to divide, uh, take away c, the reason being is because everything is negative, so now the next step, if we just negate everything, what we have is 1 over y is equal to a half sine of 2x, and plus c. So that could be our general solution. I know it's not y equals 2, but it's still a general solution to our differential equation. So we're going to now plug in our initial value, the uh, y0 is equal to 1 up there. So that tells us that y is 1 and that x is 0. So y is 1 means we have 1 over 1 is equal to a half sine of 0 plus c. Now we know sine of 0 is equal to 0, so that whole bit would be 0. So what we're left with then is effectively that c is equal to 1. Beautiful. So we can use this then and carry on down the, this right hand side and we'll try and make it into a y equals 2 just to leave our answer in a nicer form. So if we plug in our c value, we have 1 over y is equal to 1 over 2 sine of 2x plus 1 now, not our c but plus 1. And I'm going to neaten up the right hand side, turn it into one fraction. The reason I'm doing this is so that we can reciprocate and make it into y equals 2. So we're going to have on the top sine of 2x. And this 1 then, if we think about that as 2 over 2, then everything is over 2. So we can make that into 2. This will be 2. And we've still got our 1 over y over there. And now then if we reciprocate, what we're left with is y is equal to 2 over sine of 2x plus 2. Beautiful.